this is Rosa Kelly. So today we are going to be working on part number three of my cozy evening mini oven tutorial. This is a tutorial for JS Hobbies and Crafts. You will find the link to the store and all the supplies we're using on the description box below. So as you recall, on the first part we work on the binding and this beautiful cover and the last time we work on these pages. So we worked on the first and the second signature. So today we're gonna move right along and work on the third signature. And also we are going to be working on what is going to be going on the inside covers. So let's get right to it. Okay, so we are going to start with the third signature here. I am gonna be using some of the scrap pieces that I have and I also have a full sheet in there as well. So I am going to cut this random piece that I have at seven inches and I will tell you what this measures. This piece is three and three quarters but you can use um, anything you have. That is gonna be a little belly band on that page. Also I'm gonna be using in this other one that is also scrap sheet so uh, maybe this one I'm also going to cut at seven inches and we're gonna make this into a tall pocket uh, but I'm going to trim this a little bit let's do seven by seven on this piece so also this other one here I am going to do this one at eight and a quarter and of course by six inches all right so now we have all of these pieces cut out and let's bring the scoreboard so we're gonna start scoring the eight and a quarter by six inches we're just going to do this one at half an inch just like that and I'm going to do both okay and then we are going to use these other two pieces. Now this is the seven inches. So I'm just going to do half an inch on this side and flip that over and also do half an inch. So then we're gonna score the seven by seven piece. This one we're going to do half an inch on three sides. So I'm gonna do one, two, and three. And like I said, this is going to be a tall pocket. I'm going to take out the corners and just have a piece like that so we can make this pocket. Okay, so now let's bring the base back here. And I'm going to fold along all of these score lines that we did. Okay, so I'm going to start with this side first and I'm going to add this tall pocket that we made. I'm just going to use my glue and add it on these three sides here. And I'm also going to do this one. Okay, and now we're going to place this down. We're going to make sure that we are lining up the corners on the bottom first. And here we go. So now I'm just going to press down really good, just like that. Okay, so then I'm going to grab this small little piece, which is going to be our belly band, and we're going to place this right on top of the pocket here. I think it's just going to give it a little bit of interest and it's going to be um, really fun to have. Okay, so I'm just going to add this piece right on the center of the tall pocket okay so i'm going to build more into this page but first let's turn this to the other side and add the other two pieces so i'm going to place one on the left one on the right and so i'm just going to do that with my glue again just like this so very simple layouts, but I think um, what I want to do is maximize the space for pictures. It's always good to have a beautiful decorated page um, that is also going to be functional with 
picture capacity so that's what I love to do I'm going to add now this one on this other side okay so now we have the two flaps on this page and I'm going to go back to this other side and since I have more of this scrap piece so basically every time we cut um, the page at eight and a quarter we will have this leftover piece which is the same thing that we have there so I'm going to use this um, so we don't waste any cardstock cut it right at six inches and we are going to score at half an inch so let me bring my board here we go this always makes a lot of noise um, okay so we're gonna do half an inch along the six inches and same thing here half an inch and now these two pieces we are going to add as a little gate fold on this little belly band so it's going to be a belly band and a gate fold at the same time so we are going to fold along the score lines just like that and i'm going to add my glue and then we're going to place one right there. Okay. Make sure we press this down. And then we're gonna open that and add the other one on the opposite side. Okay. So just right here. So now we have these two little openings that are also a belly band and this page is also a pocket. So I love doing interactive little pieces like this with lots of room for pictures. Now back here, I'm going to cover this with paper first and then I'm going to add another uh, little feature here on top so so let's go ahead and cut our design paper i'm going to use these beautiful flowers these are just so so pretty so first i'm cutting these at eight inches there we go and i'm going to save that piece of course now this piece here measures five and a half i think i'm going to measure it here so yeah, so this is five and a half. So we are going to cut these at five and a quarter. And we're gonna need two pieces since we're gonna do one inside as well. So I might as well use the same one. And again, as we were doing on the other pages, I'm going to distress using my scissors. So now I'm gonna glue these two pieces down. I'm gonna start with this one and just gonna add my glue and place this one first and then I'm going to do the inside um, of these flaps later on uh, once I figure out how much paper I have left and I am going to add this one here okay and here we go so now i'm going to use a new piece of 12 by 12 and we are going to cut this piece at six inches so we're going to use two of those then i'm also going to grab some of my scrap pieces something like this and also cut this at six inches and i'm going to do by one inch and these are going to be our connector pieces so i'm just gonna cut two of these i think that's all i need and now we're gonna score these two pieces so i'm going to do half an inch on this connector pieces here let's do that same thing on this other piece And then for these big, large pieces, we are going to score at four inches and at eight inches. And we're gonna do the same 
on the other one. So now we're gonna fold along all of the score lines, starting with these little ones. And what I'm making here is just like a double accordion fold uh, booklet type of thing. So I'm just gonna fold along the score lines, making this into a little accordion fold, something like this. And same thing on this other one. One and two. And then we're gonna add the connector pieces. Oh, I hope I folded this right. <laughs> uh, we're gonna add the connector pieces on each one of the edges. So just pick any edge and add some glue. And so we're gonna place this down like that. And then we're gonna do this one as well. So I'm gonna do some glue and just put it on the edge. So now I'm going to cut a piece of six inches by five inches. And this is going to be the base for that little booklet. So we're going to add the two accordion fold pieces that we made, one on each side. So I'm going to grab my glue and we're just gonna line this one up to the left, just like that. And then we are going to line the other one on the other side. Okay, so I'm just gonna turn this over and add this right here. And then we're gonna press down on that. Here we go. So now we have our little double accordion booklet that is going to open up like so. All right, so now we're going to add a closure for that. So I'm gonna use some of this beautiful uh, ribbon here. So let's cut some pieces. So I'm gonna do one. I think that is long enough. And this one right there. So now let's turn this on the back and I'm going to add some Fabri-Tac glue for this. Oh, here we go. One on one side and the other side as well. So let's go ahead and just press this down there and the other one right there. I'm also going to secure this using my double sided tape. So here it is. I'm just gonna add some tape right there and some tape right here. Okay, so now we're ready to add this little booklet into the page. We're gonna place it right there. So I'm gonna take off the tape and also add some more glue. Here we go. And here's my glue. And then we're gonna come back and decorate these pages as well. All right, so let's just make sure that it is center up and down. Just like right there, perfect. So we now have this page that opens up like that and it closes like so, and then we can tie it. Uh, but let me decorate this uh, with our design paper. Now I have beautiful pieces, oh my gosh, that I've been saving maybe. We can cut this one and make it fit in there. I think that will be nice. All right, so we're just going to cut this up. So I know these pieces measure four by six, so we can go from there and cut this image at 
five and three quarters, something like this, by three and three quarters. Yes. Okay. So now we have this little card that fits perfect. So I'm just going to distress again and just glue it down. Okay, so I added that piece and I also use my scrap pieces to cut this smaller size. And we're just gonna glue this one down as well. And then I'll come back and continue adding my paper as I go. And for the inside, you actually don't even have to add paper if you're just gonna glue your pictures straight right onto the cardstock. So now I'm going to decorate the other page. I'm using some of the leftover pages from the previous page. And I'm just gonna glue this one right on top of this flap here. Um, for the back pocket, you also want to use just scrap pieces, like something like this. It's all you really need. I'm just gonna add that on the back there and I'm just gonna distress it as well so for the inside of the belly band I'm just gonna wait I don't want to cut into a new sheet yet I'll wait and see if I have more leftover scraps before I cut into a new page I really love how this page turned out I absolutely love this one so now we're gonna work on the inside covers. For the inside covers, we are going to use two pieces of eight and a quarter by six and a quarter, and these are going to be the base. Now I'm gonna start with the first one that's going to go on the inside cover. So when you cut these pieces, you are going to have two leftover pieces that look like that. So this should measure five and three quarters, by eight and a quarter and since i don't like wasting any paper i'm just gonna use this one to create my layout so i'm going to score each one of these pieces at half an inch so let's do it one and two and that way we're just going to create a little um opening page here so i'm just gonna fold this right along the score lines same thing here, here we go. And then I'm going to grab the first base and we are just going to glue this right on the side like that. So you have two options for the second one. You can either put one on the opposite side and have a little opening, or you can do both one on top of each other and just have like a double uh, opening page which is probably what I'm going to do okay so let me just add some glue here on this flap and I'm going to line this up and just put it right here like this and then I'm going to add this second one right on top Okay, so again, I'm just gonna glue this one right on top of the previous one. Just like that. Very simple. And then again, we have a lot of room for pictures. Love doing pages like this. Okay, so I'm just gonna press down, make sure this is nice and secure and we are going to go ahead and cover this page so to decorate this page I am going to be using this piece here for the front and this one for the back so the first thing I'm going to do is cut this piece here so now this flap let me measure it after we score half an inch. This piece is measuring five and a quarter. So I'm going to cut my page at five inches. And then we're gonna cut this by eight inches. And this is going to be glue 
right on top here after we distress. And now this one I'm going to cut at um, six inches by eight inches. So I'm going to start with eight and then the six. I think that is the size. Let's double check. And yes. Okay, so I went ahead and distressed the edges as well. And now I'm just going to glue these pieces down. So I'm going to start with this one. And then I'm going to do this other one here. And then I'm going to come back and do the other ones as well. But for now, I'm just going to put this one in there. And I really love the back <laughs> of this page as well. I think they just love the color combination there. Okay, so let's put this down. Here we go. Okay, so now we can close this one. And this page is ready to be added on the inside from cover. Okay, so now we're going to work on the back piece um, so I have my base here again this measures eight and a quarter by six and a quarter so I'm going to use two sheets of the cardstock and I'm gonna cut these at eight inches and then we are going to score this piece so let me bring my scoreboard here and so what we're going to do is give this page a little bit of a gusset. So we're going to do a half an inch gusset for this. So first thing I'm going to do is a score. I'm going to score at one inch and at one and a half inches. Okay. Just like that. And then I'm going to score at six and a half inches. And we're gonna do the same here on the other page. One inch, one and a half, and six and a half. And we're also going to score at 11 inches. So we're scoring at one, one and a half, six and a half, and 11. And we're gonna do the same with the other page as well. But the first thing you want to do is fold along the score line. So we're gonna fold this one inch and then this half an inch, okay? And then this six and a half inches, I'm gonna fold there. And then this extra one inch that we have here, we're gonna fold in. And this is gonna be like a little tuck spot, um, like this. I'm trying to create like a little pocket so we can add all these different little cards that we have. Or if you don't like this little flap, you can definitely take it out. Um, so now I'm gonna do the same with the other. So now I'm going to cut two pieces of eight inches by four and a half so i'm gonna grab this right here and these are going to be added onto that one inch extra that we have so we're simply going to glue these two pieces on this little one inch here okay so i'm gonna add my glue And I'm just gonna line this up on the corners and lay this flat down. And now we're gonna do the same with the other one. Add my glue. I just love making folios. They are super fun to create and you have a lot of room for pictures you can make any interactions that you want super super fun okay so now i'm gonna grab my base and we are going to glue this one inch on each side and for now i'm just gonna lay flat my half an inch gusset and add my glue 
right there. And we're gonna outline it here. And make sure that you center it. Um, it is going to be a little bit smaller than your base page and there's a reason for that you'll see in a minute. So just make sure that you evenly place it. Okay, on the center. Now let's do the same with this other one. Now this one's gonna go like this. So let me go ahead and add my glue. Okay. And let's just place this down. And there we go. So now when we stand up this little gusset, we have these two different features on each side. And then we have all this room in there to create something else, which we will. But first, I'm going to do um, the top and bottom little flaps. So for that, I'm going to use another piece of cardstock. This one's going to be cut at six and a quarter. And I'm saving all these scrap pieces. We can definitely use that later. Uh, and now this one, I'm going to cut at eight inches. And let's go ahead and score this piece. Now this one is gonna come from the top and kind of hold everything together. So I am going to score at one inch and one and three quarters. Okay, so one inch and one and three quarters. We're gonna fold along the score lines. Just like that. And now we're gonna place this page all the way on the back. So we're gonna open these two and place this one on the back top like that. So before we add it, we're going to kinda cut the corners a little bit so it's not touching with the other two pages so it's gonna look like this all right so now let's put our glue and place this down on the top okay so let's make sure it is even and there you go Perfect. So now let's open that up. Okay, and so we're gonna close these two and just make sure that it goes on top. So now I'm going to grab the remaining piece that we have, and this measures five and three quarters by 12. So we are just going to cut this down at six and a quarter. So this piece measures five and a quarter by six and a quarter. So now we're gonna place this along the scoreboard on the five and three quarters inch side. And I am going to score this at one inch and one and three quarters, just like we did on the other piece. And so we're gonna fold along the score lines. And then we're also going to cut the corners a little bit, just like this and like that. And we're going to add this piece along the bottom here. So I'm gonna open everything up right now. I'm gonna open that and that and this. And let's place this right on the bottom, like so. So again, I'm going to add my glue and just line it up on the bottom. And there we go. So now we're gonna close everything up again 
and this is going to be the piece on the bottom and then we have this other piece on the top okay so now what i'm going to do to create a closure for this page i mean you can definitely use magnets but i'm trying to create something a little bit different so we don't always have to be using magnets um so this piece on the bottom measures four inches so i am going to use some of my scrap pieces and cut it at six and a quarter by four inches which this already is and i am simply just going to glue i'm going to open that up and i'm going to glue this piece on top but i'm not going to fully glue it i'm only going to glue about half of the piece so i'll show you what i mean i'm going to add glue on the bottom half just like that and then now i'm going to line it up okay so now we are gluing it and i'm just gonna press down in there and make sure that it dries so now we have this double feature here and what that's going to do is going to allow for this to tuck right in there and create a little closure like that see that so now we're going to open this up and it opens just like a normal flap but when we close it we kind of just tuck it in between these two pieces and there you go so now this is a little folio of course we're going to decorate it and what I want to do is concentrate on this back right here because we have a good half an inch gusset to put anything you want in here basically. Um, you can leave it like that and add a bunch of pictures but I want to use my scrap pieces. Let me put all this on the side. Since I have a lot of scrap pieces here next to me, I'm going to use this to create a uh, little booklet so just make sure that all your pieces are the same size which i think mine are for the most part um, so just grab everything and if they're not the same size just pick the smallest one measure that one mine measures uh, three and three quarters and then we're just gonna cut everything to three and three quarters so they're the same size okay so then i have all of those and i have this one here so again three and three quarters now i'm going to just simply fold these pieces in half to create my booklet and then i'm going to join them together using a connector piece so i have five of these pieces here and then what i'm going to do is grab another one of my scrap pieces cut this down to the same size as your width here mine is three and three quarters so i'm going to need probably four pieces three and three quarters and also by one inch okay so here's two and here's two more oops here we go that's close enough and we're just going to score at half an inch and create a little connector pieces so let me bring my scoreboard again and start making these little pieces so when you connect your pieces there are two ways that you can do this you can put them together as a little um, booklet that opens on one direction like this so you just put your connector piece on the top and have the bending all on the same side or you can miss and match and create an accordion pull out type of feature so that's what i'm going to be doing i think it's a little bit more fun so the first connector piece i'm going to put along the bottom 
and then place that right there. Now I'm gonna place my second piece right on top, just like that. Okay, so now we have a little accordion piece. And I'm gonna continue doing this the same way. I'm gonna put my connector piece along the bottom. So it will basically be opposites from the um, bending side. And place it right on top. Just try to make it as even as you can. It probably won't be perfectly lined up. For some reason, mine is not, so it's totally okay. And here, now, next will be another connector piece. Here we go. Put this down. And more glue. Next piece. Line it up. Add the next connector piece. And there you go. So this place, this little booklet will be perfect to just put your pictures right on it. That way, if you are adding your car stock, it'll probably be too much of a bulk um, if you add car stock and pictures. So I would just leave it plain, maybe just decorate the front and just add your pictures in there. Okay, so now we have this super long accordion fold that is going to be filled with memories. All right, so now we're gonna bring this back. We're gonna open the whole thing. Of course, you're gonna decorate these pages, but I think for now, I'm just going to decorate the back or add paper to the back. I cut this piece at seven and three quarters by six, and I also went ahead and distressed all around. Now this piece, I'm just gonna put straight down there. You don't need to add a closure or anything because we're just gonna wrap this one with all these other pages. So I'm just gonna glue it. I do wanna make sure the first one opens to the top, but you can do it either way. And now we're just gonna add it. Okay, place it right on the center. And there you go. Perfect. And now we can close the sides. We can close the bottom. We can use our little um, closure there. And I think I'm going to decorate the front pretty quickly. And then we're gonna add the pages into our book. So I'm going to glue these two pieces. I did not distress the bottom because I want to make sure this is going to go in here without uh, without any issues. So I'm just going to glue this piece. Just like that. Okay, and then I'm gonna open that up and I'm also going to glue this piece. So here we go, we are done with this little folio we're going to add at the end of the book. Of course, I'm going to finish up decorating the pages, but for now, let's see it all come together. So here is my base page. I did notice that on my last, uh, my last page that, I, that we did together, um, I'm using the same paper. Just, this is the one that was gonna go here, um, the same image. So I'm gonna mix up the pages a little bit different, but you can definitely use or add it whichever way you want to add it. Okay, so let's start with the covers. Um, let's see, so this is my inside cover. I'm going to glue it down here. Normally I will add all my paper before I um, 
add the pages but I just for the purpose of showing you how to add the pages I'm gonna do it now but I will suggest you add all your paper down before you add your pages it's a lot easier that way okay so here we go some glue and this is going to go right there and this one's a little bit difficult because we have all those flowers. So I'm just gonna try to hold it here. Okay. And now we are going to do this. Actually, let's do the, the pages first. Okay. So we're gonna start with this one here. Oh, I just love this little doggy. Um, so to add the pages, what we're going to do is peel off just a section of the tape like that and then we're gonna find the insert or the center pocket which is this one here our base page and we're gonna insert the bottom first let's see a little hard to see okay and then we're gonna put the top make sure it's not touching anything there we go and then you want to make sure it's even up and down it should fit right in and then we're gonna press down where we have this stickiness and just remove this tape okay now we're gonna flip this over and remove the tape using this little I love this little tool so <laughs> it makes everything a lot easier so that's the first page so chunky I love these chunky pages then we're going to do the second one which is this one so now we're gonna add our little folio on the back so simply all we're gonna do is add the glue you want a gentle amount of glue in there and then we're just simply going to press this down right there okay just like that so now I'm going to open the whole thing just so I can press down here and make sure that it is glued all the way and there you go now <laughs> we are basically done with our album all you have to do is decorate add your own little touches and make it your own i really love 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 this collection it's so beautiful okay so i think one more thing that i want to show you is the inserts for the three pages there so we are going to cut three pieces of eight inches by six inches so let me take that out and here we go so then i'm going to cover these pieces um, this is definitely optional if you want to save some paper you don't have to cover it but it is matte measure seven and three quarters so by five and three quarters now these pieces that are going to go inside the pockets you don't want to distress you want to keep them as flat as possible and what I also want to do is add some of my lace here along the border so I, I'm just gonna cut this piece like that let me cut this off and then I'm just gonna add my glue for this I'm using the fabric tag glue and here we go and now i'm just going to add my pretty lace there you go something like that and now let's add it into the pocket of course you want to let your glue dry completely but i just want to see how it looks uh, so find again your center and there you go 
So now you have this pretty lace picking through the side of your album and I just love that look. All right, so I think we are done for today. I really hope that you guys enjoy this tutorial. If you give this tutorial a try, please, please make sure to tag me on Facebook or Instagram. I always love to see your complete uh, project pictures. It really makes me really, really happy to see. Don't forget to check out the store. I'm going to have all the links on the description box below. And I'll be back with the final walkthrough of my album. I want to thank you so much for watching. I will see you next time. Bye-bye.